What's going on guys, Challenger, and today we got some information from Tom Henderson regarding Warzone 2 or Call of Duty Warzone 2. This is the sequel to the current Call of Duty Warzone, I guess you say, experience. There's a lot of different things that's been confusing. What is it? When's it coming? What's going on with Modern Warfare 2? And I guess the, you know, apparently rumored and supposedly integration that was supposed to happen when Modern Warfare 2 launched, but maybe things are going to be shaking up. Things are going to be changing for the integration process of Warzone for Modern Warfare 2, which could be unfortunate, but we'll see. Tom Henderson went on a little thread. He also went on a stream. I'm linking that stream down below. It's like a, it's an hour and like 18 minutes, hour and 40 minutes in that range. I don't know exactly, but again, it's a long stream. He talked about a lot of this information, but he also put it on Twitter on a thread, which would definitely be more easier to communicate with you guys than going over a whole hour stream. So first off, in this thread, if you didn't watch the stream, here's what I've heard on Warzone 2. It's IW's Warzone map that is set to be a clean slate for Warzone and was scheduled to release in holiday 2022. Quotation is clean slate, meaning starting again, scrapping everything like weapons, operators, etc. So a lot of people had confusion like, oh, what's going on? And again, this is a clean slate. So anything in regards to your operators, purchases, weapons, all this stuff will not be coming over to Warzone 2. It's going to be a fresh start. And honestly, I like that idea. I really love, I love Warzone the most the focus on modern warfare weapons when he added in cold war stuff i was a little bit of, eh, this is good and then when they added vanguard stuff up it kind of felt a little too competing and, con and like it, it just kind of took me out of it a little bit i still love the game i'm still playing warzone right now but it does feel a little off so he continues saying down below this map was last mentioned to release holiday 2022 just six weeks ago indicating things are being shaken up if this is the Warzone 2 that is being referenced in the Bloomberg report. Legacy Warzone will still remain, but Warzone 2 is coming. So that clarifies the fact of, oh, what's going to happen to Call of Duty Warzone? They're going to shut down the stuff. No, it's still remaining. It's just going to be a different experience for next-gen consoles, which is PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, I think which we could consider now as current-gen, and then past-gen is going to be left behind. We see the troubles currently uh, going on with Warzone Pacific on past-gen, PS4, and Xbox Ones. It's not really operating as intended, and it's becoming a hassle, and it's kind of holding the game back. So he showcases these image of company emails. not going to really show them because they're not really important, but he, again, they were briefly mentioning the you know in a company email warzone 2 now it wasn't directly going on as warzone 2 but again an ongoing expansion of call of duty warzone and from past reports and speaking to journalists this move contradicts what we've heard previously about warzone being warzone but it's believed this move is to finally move over to current gen hardware in the best way possible again this makes perfect sense in regards to i guess you could say the disconnect in technology between pc and current gen consoles and the last gen consoles of ps4 and xbox one those generation of consoles, again, definitely hold Warzone's experience back right now for what we could do in the Battle Royale genre for Call of Duty. So I, I like the move. It's a little unfortunate for those who can't get their hands on the current gen PS5 and Xbox One, a uh, Series X and Xbox Series S. But again, hopefully by the time this comes out, more people will have consoles and he continues to avoid confusion warzone 2 is basically a new call of duty title look at it as a sequel original warzone with modern warfare black ops cold war and vanguard still remains so you keep all your progression and purchases etc now my general thoughts on this is some of the stuff i kind of already figured but it's making me confused about what the integration process is going to be for modern warfare 2 again i don't want to not play warzone but when modern warfare 2 comes out and it's not integrated with warzone call of duty warzone then i'm going to be a little I guess down because I, I'm going to probably love Modern Warfare 2. I can already see it. I've always loved Modern Warfare titles from Infinity Ward, even Infinity Ward titles in general. I even somewhat love Infinite Warfare, which is crazy to say. I think the movement system was not that good in terms of advanced movement, but gunplay, it, it did feel good. And I wasn't, I wasn't, I played it. It was weird. Again, I'm not saying that it was a great Call of Duty. By no means was it, but. I enjoyed it so i know i do know the track record of infinity ward with their call of duties i tend to love them way more than other studios maybe not so much treyarch because treyarch for me I, I just have things about treyarch i do not like in general but again the main takeaway from all this is if the new integration for this warzone experience is not going to be happening and we have to wait till march i kind of hope they speed it up i, I i'm against for crunch i want the development team the developers to have the best health possible and avoid crunch by no means but the gamer in me kind of wants us as soon as possible because, again, getting our hands on a new Warzone experience with current gen and PC in mind and the endless stuff that can probably occur with, you know, maybe better graphics, maybe more player count. Who knows? But again, I'm excited to see the possibilities that could occur in this Warzone 2 experience. So the biggest takeaway is that it seems like the integration for Modern Warfare 2 in Warzone is going to be delayed and it's going to be used as the launching point for Call of Duty Warzone 2. Oh, it's crazy. I'm a little upset about that, but... 
no means does that mean it's going to be a bad experience we'll have to wait and see when more official details come out again these are all rumors and leaks and should be taken with a grain of salt even though tom henderson has great insight on call of duty stuff again things have changed he's even mentioned that so maybe things change again and we get an integration for warzone and then we get a brand new warzone 2 experience who knows how they'll do that but again they've done crazier stuff before so with that being said that's all i gotta say on this video if you guys have a comment about the information presented, let me know down below. We'll have a conversation about it. If you guys also found this video informative and enjoyed it, definitely drop this video a like. It shows me that you enjoy the content and helps the content as well as grow and see more people and stuff like that. It's a, it's a good deal. Have some class there. And if you guys are new here and want more content from me, whether it's Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, Destiny 2, or any other games you see me cover on the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you guys want to get notified right when I drop content. But yeah, that's all I got for this one. Challenge you here, and I'm out.